Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to build a DOM LS example using Apache Access C++ libraries. The DOM LS stands for the Document Object Model Load and Save. Here on the Linux, I have created a simple program called my DOM LS parse.cpp. The DOM LS parser is a new interface introduced by W3C DOM level 3.0 load and save specifications. It's an API for parsing XM document and build corresponding DOM document tree from the various input source. So this various input source could be the character stream if available, or the byte stream if available, or open a URL connections. So the example of this video, we are going to write a program to take a parameter of URL, which we parse a XML from a open a URL connections. As a standard pattern, this uh, Apache Access C++ library API required to initialize first, and uh, then we finish terminate after. In the middle, we just build a function called func dom rs parse. So the dom rs parse is a starter from the implementation registration class. So first, we start instantialize the implementation object pointer, which uses dom implementation regist registry get dom implementation method, and take one parameter is uh, the Called a feature, which is we just name it RS. It's uh, just an identifier for the DOM implementations. So from this implementation, we start the parser using the implementation create RS parser, and this RS parser can be the synchronous or asynchronous. So we have model option. So we can in this video we set up as a synchronous model. And also, if you need, you can set up an asynchronous model. And also, the parser can have an action like append as a child, replace child, insert before, insert after, or replace actions. So we not demonstrate this right now, but we have this feature from this LS parser. So this parser, we also can set up a parameter, some like the do validate during the parsing. We can set up a true or not true or false. And we can set up a do namespace, true and false. And uh, we can also set up a do data type normalization, and we can set up true or false. And uh, this can be found from the document DOM RS parser class reference. So we see it here, and we have this action, append as a children, replace the children, insert before, insert after, and also action replace. This Also this parser can optionally implement DOM error handlers. So we can create an object pointer called error handler, and using the parser set up parameter, which is the DOM error handler, which this object we just instantialize here. This option if set up and this during the parser and all the error can be tracked caught by the exceptions. And also after we parsing, we using the parsing the parse URL. So this from this document I say for the DOM RS parser class and they have a method called the parse URL and also has a method called a parse. So the parse will be parse XM document from a resource identified by DOM RS input. So like a file, standard input, and from terminal. And so the, the parse URL method is a parse XM document from a location identified by a URL reference. So after we get a parser, it will generate 
document objects and the survey create another function. DOM view document plus this document, which we are going to use DOM LS serializer to view this document. So what we do, we create a serializer and the code we just name as the writer and the DOM LS, in, LS output, which because we want to the out, output. If we want the input, we can build that there's a DOM LS input object. And this output can be make some setup. Here is the one thing we want to set up is a dub writer format pretty printer. So if we set up with true, the output printer will be change line by the node. Otherwise, all the writing into the serialized will be document will be write in the one lines. So we just set up the format pretty printer so we can clearly view after we print. So after we set up, we just this writer write method and the document to our output and finished, delete the format target and release the, our instance of a DOM serializer and the output. Here we just save this, compile this. So now we compiled, let's go to another terminal. So we got our Qtable. To make an example, I just create a simple and a web page, which from the another server 192.168.0.105. And this is the web page, very simple. And this web page, we have a two XML data and for the book star. So let's look at the, the example. This is the HTML. So this web page HTML, end of HTML. We have a header, header, body, and the body. We have some XML file data. It's the book star. And the book star, there's the two books. Book one is cooking, Italian, everyday Italian. Book second is a category web, English, called learning XML. So this is the website we create. So now let's see, this is the URL. We copy this URL and we just run this. So we direct the result to an XM file. Let's see. So here it parse our URL from our program. It's HTM, we have a header. And uh, and we have a body, we have a body, and we also have our date book star has a book one and a book two is the web English learning XML. So this is when we parse, we got a parse like a HTML. So if we want an application, just just the parse to extract our ex. XML date like a book star, book, book title, author, price, DOM, LS parse provide a uh, option which you can set up a filter to filter the no necessary node. Let's go back to our Linux and our function. So here is the function when we have DOM view doc and we can optionally set up some filter so what we do here, we create an object called a DOM printer filter, called my filter, and we start right there. And then we, the writer can set the filter with my filter object. So let's save here this. And so we create a program and called, a, so we start, this is my filter class, which uh, derived from the DOM LS serializer filters. So if you don't want to customize yourself filter, we can, you, you, we can use the DOM LS serializer filters. So this filter, we have one method called the filter action accept node. So in the filter implementation program, so the exception node, the method. So what we do, we this accept node take the node, DOM node, when we parsing, we got the DOM node, each node. We try the based on the node type. In this uh, 
example, we only for do something customized, uh, element node. So node type can be element node, could be command node, could be text node, could be document type node. So we just uh, making an example, simple example, customize the element node. Here is the element node header, body, uh, HTML. We, when we parse this uh, HTML as XML, this is the element node. So we what we do, if element of HTML header and the body, we try to fi filter them out. So we only keep our book star and the book, book title, author. So in this case, from this web page, we can extract XM date only. So what we do here, so if it's element node HTML, we can use in the filter, we set up return. This is a DOM node filter. It's a filter option, it's a filter scape. The filter has three selections. So filter scape, filter accept, filter reject. So filter accept, which means we accept this node. Filter scape, it means that we skip this node and the, the children of this node will be considered. So in this case, if the HTML, for example, here, the HTML node, and we skip this, but we keep all the children of that. Otherwise, we don't have children anymore. So if this is a header, so let's say our HTML, if this is a header has a one children called a title. So in this case, we want to get rid of all the header, include these children. So if this is a header, we just use a filter reject. Filter reject is a reject node. The children node of this node will also be reject. If the body, we also reject. And if the BR, in this case, if the body, we also reject. And if the PR, like this PR, we just escape. This customized filter is also dependent on which kind of application you want to use. You know, different HTML or different XML has a different way to set up your filter. And now let's save this, we recompile. So let's go to parse our program again and append it to our people.xml. So let's check our result. So we, this is a before we set up a filter. So we have a XML uh, and with XML. So after we set up a filter, we rerun this again. So you can see we got the XML and our filter and the HTML header body all the gone. And we only got the book star and which is in the book star and the books. So this way, you know, we we can use this DOM RS parser to parse a URL to extract only the XML data from that web page. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback.